welcome to today's edition of FPE Automation's Tech Assist video. Today we're going to talk about integrating Cognix data man readers into Omron Sysmax Studios platformer PLCs. Um, this will apply to all NX and NJ uh, PLCs as well as all Cognix data man readers. So this is going to be using a pre-made library, specifically a pre-made structure made internally here at FP Automation to help with the addressing of the internal Ethernet IP assembly. Um, so to make it easier for you and your programming and bringing the data in. So here I'm using Sysmax Studio version 1.44 and I've also got Cognex Data Man Setup Tool version 2. or 6.2.1 um, to, uh, to know what software versions I'm using. <clears throat> So first thing I'm going to do within my data man is connect to the data man and I'm going to verify in communications that I have Ethernet IP selected. And please note that this is the first time you're doing this. When you check the Ethernet IP box, a reboot is needed to take effect for the reader. So we're going to go ahead and hit the soft reboot and then the, root, the data man will power cycle on its own. While that's happening, I'm going to create a project or open a project uh, in Sysmax Studio. And this project has just got some basic variables made, no logic or anything like that yet. So I'm going to first bring in the library that's uh, provided by FPE Automation by adding the file. And in this file, th this is a little disclaimer warning, that's all. But in here, you can see um, the data types that's pre made for. It. Data man as well as uh, inside two uh, cameras. We hit OK. And now in my global variables, I'm going to uh, bring in one data man reader and I'm going to call it reader one inputs. And instead of bool, I'm going to use, as I start typing Cognex, you can populate. This is populated from the library I just brought in. I'm going to create another one called reader one outputs and use outputs. Now, because this is going to be using Ethernet IP, I want to declare them as network publish input and network publish output respectively. And now I'm going to go to my Ethernet IP settings. And because the NX, I'm using NX 102, I have two ports here. I'm using the top port. I'm going to right click and go to edit and I'm going to add a target device. Now I have already installed the EDS file, but if you did not install the EDS file, you can right click and go to display EDS library and then hit install from here. But I've already got um, Cognex loaded in here, so I don't need to do that step. So I hit add, go to my pull down, choose 300 series reader. Uh, this is a data man, 363x reader that I'm talking to. So choose version one, because that's the only option. And I could type in the IP address for the reader here. And if you don't know what the IP address is, it's listed in, under the data man setup tool right here as well. Then I hit add. And now I want to hit this button called registration all. And what this will do is look at my global variables, which I just created, and it says it's the correct size of 496 bytes on the input side and output side. I hit register, and then I go to connections, and then I'm going to add a connection. This is the IP address of the reader. This part's the only tricky part. Um, it's not a pull down, it's a look ahead, so it's actually needing the assembly instance. So as you start typing, it'll only give you one option. Please select that option. Then we map the inputs to the inputs and outputs to the outputs. And now I'm going to create some real quick logic to show you the, the power of the pre-made structure versus having to reference a manual or a help file to know where everything's addressed to. So um, I'm make a little bit here called enable reader. And now I can start addressing the outputs directly. So I'm going to have all these bits that are pre-mapped are now have a name to them. 
add another rung. This rung is going to be for triggering the camera. Make sure the trigger is ready, and it's going to be a latching circuit until the acknowledge is received. I'm going to make this rising edge, and I'll make this normally closed. Then from there, I'm going to go online, transfer what I've got, and this will download the variables and the, and the logic that I've created. And after that's done, I have to do one more step to transfer the Ethernet IP settings. Going to go to the Ethernet IP settings and hit transfer to controller. And just from a troubleshooting step, if you go back to your Ethernet IP device list, you can right click and go to monitor. And you can see here I have a blue dot that indicates a good connection to node address 218. 218 is the last octet of the IP address of the reader. So now I can go back to my logic. I can enable a read. And now I can see this bit comes on that says it's ready for a trigger. I can hit trigger. And it took a picture. Now, what do we do with that data? We can see it read a string of a barcode starting with 454. Let's read that into the PLC as well. I'm going to make an online edit. And I'm going to use an instruction called array byte 2, which takes an array, which again, we can reference the Cognex inputs. which is the result data coming in starting at address zero. And I'm going to read the next 30 characters and I'm going to store that into read string. Send that over. Trigger again. And you can see there's my read string. All ready to go in a string variable. And that's it. Thanks. Have a great day.